Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and we are back for part 2 of Oblitus Casa. Now the title of this game translates to Forgotten House, and that is quite suitable for this game as we are stuck in a cabin on Discovery Island full of haunted Disney characters. These include Mickey, Goofy, Minnie, Daisy, and various variants of Mickey Mouse along the way. I did play the original Treasure Island as I said in a previous video, you guys might remember me playing that on the channel, and we actually did every night in that game, even the hardest night. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to complete this one. One. So far it has been tough, but in part one we got to, I think, night four, and we did all the mini games in between. So in this game, I'm going to try and complete night four, night four's mini game, and night five, and see if we can get the ending to the game. I'm a little bit nervous about trying to beat this game because it is getting really hard, but we'll persevere and try our best in this video. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into part two of Oblitus Casa. Right, here we go. Night four, the cabin, here we are. Let's dive in. Let's see what we can do. Alright, so let's bring up our notepad. Night four. Where's the notepad? Here it is. Someone new is in the attic. He does not like the light. Leave him alone. Oh yeah, that's the guy that got us last time. The music will work on the creature that comes to your window, and I think that's Goofy. So we've got our tasks. Let's have a look. Let's call Goofy back to the start. Oh my god, that's Mickey, there's Goofy. Where's Mickey? Mickey's gone! Oh my god. Let's try and call them back. Someone's in the attic, we've got to go to the attic. Nope, go down. Alright, that's the enemy we don't want to use the light on. Let's bring them back. We've got to actually check for Minnie as well and Daisy. Oh, Minnie's there, Flasher. Okay, we got her, good. Anyone else? Oh! Oh my god! She's in the room! We didn't flash her in time! Are we dead? She's just there! What do I do? Oh my god, she scrambled a camera. Alright, let's go back to camera one. What happened? Guys, what's happened? We're in the darkness! Oh my god, someone's in the room with us! Ah, okay, we got got. So yeah, that was the, um, I don't know if it's called the face or something, but it's this weird Mickey that inhabits the attic, and I wasn't quick enough to go to the attic. I think when we hear the thing in the attic, we should immediately just go up there and, um, you know, try and deal with that. There's one Mickey face. This is a mini game where we have to find all the different Mickey faces as quickly as we can. There's a third one. No. Okay, there we go. We did it. Yes. Okay, that was really, really hairy, but we did it. So we got a second chance. Let's just quickly try and get back to where we were. There's Goofy, there's Mickey, good. Alright, let's check the cameras this time. That camera's scrambled. So Daisy basically scrambles for cameras. That's her mechanic. And I think last time we forgot to clear the notepad, which is why we got jump scared, I think. Although it could have been a number of reasons. Oh man, okay. I'm getting back into the swing of this. I always knew the first run would be a bit, like, uh, chaotic. Oh, we got someone upstairs. Let's see who that is. Yeah, it's this guy. When you hear that weird sound, you know it's the one that needs the light on it. Alright, let's bring them back. Oh, hello, Minnie. There you are. Let's bring these two back to the front. Nice. Good guys. Appreciate that. Flash. Daisy. Oh my god, they've already moved. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, you have to be so quick with a notepad now as well. This is crazy. It's cray cray. Oh, there's Minnie. Oh god. No, we gotta go upstairs. We gotta go upstairs. We gotta go upstairs. We gotta go upstairs. Oh, no, downstairs. There was no one up there. There was no one up there, guys. Right, now let's try and bring everyone back to the... Oh, to the start. Good. It worked. Alright, this is going... This is going quite well. Let's flash Minnie. There we go. And let's check our notebook. Excellent. Okay. Man, this is really hard. Oh, flash. Nice work. Oh, I think I heard someone upstairs. Let's check that attic. Nope. No one is up there. We're about the notepad. Go back to here. Oh, camera one. Good work. Check for Minnie. Is Minnie there? Nope. Daisy is there, though. 
don't think anyone's there. And there, wow. Oh, she's in the freaking room. So wait, if we look at her for too long, does she do this? We've got to go upstairs, guys. We've got to go upstairs. Someone's upstairs. Where is it? There, 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 there. Okay, go, go, go. Sorry, I can't even speak, guys. I'm so freaked out right now. Quick, scribble it out. Scribble it out. Good. Okay, back. Back to cam one. Bring these two back. Let's go. There's one. Where's Mickey? No, Mickey, please. Mickey, come on, man. No. And Mickey, and Mickey, and Mickey. I think we've lost Mickey, guys. And we've got someone upstairs now. Oh, who's that upstairs? It's for face, I think. I think that's for face. I don't know. We might have misjudged it. No. Yeah, we weren't quick enough. You've got to be so fast with that one. All right, guys. Well, we got to 3.30. So that wasn't bad for my first attempt of the day, right? Like, I recorded part one yesterday. Recording part two today. So I'm not back into the flow and the rhythm of the game yet. Okay, so I think what I'll do now, I've had a warm-up round, is get back to around 3.30 and show you the rest of the night. I'm not going to show you the whole night over and over, because that, I think, is just really boring for you guys. So I'll try and get up to where I got last time, and we'll keep playing on, and if I die at, like, 5am, I'll then carry on from 5am, and so on and so forth, so that you guys kind of get to see the whole night, but you're not having to rewatch watch parts over and over and over. Alright, guys, we're at 4am. Oh, we've got someone in the attic, though. We've got someone in the attic. We've got to check the attic. And it is this weird guy. So let's get him to go. There we go. We've done it. Right. Quickly on to cam one. Bring Mickey and Goofy back. There we go. Check cam two for Minnie. She is there. So flash her and go back to the notepad. I've got into the rhythm, I think, of this now, guys. It is very tricky, though. We need to keep bringing them back because they're so fast to get to our room now is the issue. Um, but we just have to be that fast. It's now 4.30. We're going okay at the moment. Mickey's gone. We'll wait till Goofy goes. Then we'll bring them both back at the same time. Oh, and we've got someone in the attic, so we better go straight up. Oh, no. Down we go, because that guy does not want to see a, does not want to see the lights, I was trying to say. He doesn't like lights. Bring these two back. Check for Minnie. Minnie is there. Flash her. Go back up into the attic just to check in case it was that weird thing. Nope. We can go down. Oh, man, this is nuts. Clear the notepad, back to the cams, back to cam one. Bring both these guys back. Nice. It's going well, guys. We're at 5 a.m. We could do this night. Oh, we gotta knock on the door. Up to, up we go straight away. Oh no, that guy does not want to see us. Oh, I heard another knock. We've got to bring these two guys back first. Check camera two. Yep, yeah, flash those. Back up we go. We might die now. No, down we go. No one's up there. Cool. I think we've got this, guys. Maybe. Back to cam one. Bring them back. Yes. Yeah, I think we might have this now. Come on. Let's bring the end of the night round. Yes, we did it. Night four is done. Night four is done, guys. That took me about four attempts to get back to there. And be able to beat it. And I had used my extra try as well. So if I died then, uh, we'd have had to restart the whole thing over. But there we go, that is night four done. That is sketchy. The morning sun has driven them back into darkness. Oh, we're in this game again now. We've got to work out where we're going. Let's go north. Oh, let's try east. Guys, I don't know where to go. Can't hear any sounds. We meant to hear that ding. Oh, there. I don't hear it. Guys, I don't hear anything. This is bad. Oh, there we go. I heard it. I can't hear anything, guys. I'm just gonna have to guess. Come on. There. No? No one's here. Leave us alone. Come on. 
Guys, I can't hear anything. This is so creepy. There. We must be close now. Yes, we did it! Okay, we got it at the end. We got like a string of bells at the end and managed to get there. Oh, we've got a cutscene! Look at this! Have we reached the exit? Have we escaped? That'd be pretty sweet. Oh, oh my god, what the heck? Alright, that's freaky. That is terrifying. That's the thing that was stalking us. Does that mean we got captured? Oh, or do we lock it in? Have we burned it? It's like an Ennard type thing. <laughs> Sweet, I think we burnt it. I think we incinerated the uh, crazy Mickey. No. Oh. No. No. Mickey no. eyes. No, no, no! What did you do? They were children. My children. This is like the mother character, I isn't it? I took them under my care. I protected them. They did nothing to you people. Until you. They didn't know why you were doing anything to them. They didn't even understand what you wanted. They were scared. And you killed them. Sorry about that. You know, they were trying to kill us as well, though, right? You people shouldn't have come here. I shouldn't have led you. I've seen what you people do before. She doesn't like us at the amusement park. <laughs> She's like, get out of Disneyland. Something they can't understand. Every time they push and prod and hope to deep. You don't even realize that the grass you step on, the air you breathe, it's all me. I've always been here. Every single time. That's kind of ominous, isn't it? Even if you didn't realize it. Even if you didn't recognize me. I have been here forever. And I will be here. amount of times I've seen this play out. The eternities I've spent with you. I never thought you'd go this far. I was wrong to let you pollute this place. To walk all over me as long as I did. Wrong. Not to deal with you. She's giving a long speech, that's for sure. She's trying to give the longest speech, the longest it acceptance speech ever. <laughs> here. I will make sure of it. So it seems like this is like a mother character to all the other characters, and she literally is the entire park. The spirit of the entire park come to life. Night five. She behaves like her children, the one with eyes will still come to the attic. He is not under her control. Trust your instincts, do not get tricked by fake sounds, you can do this. So we're, she's basically embodying... She's embodying the characters, right? I don't quite understand it. Is she meant to be like... Embodying the characters that we see throughout the game? So... Oh! Flash, flash her when she's got the eyes out, I suppose, like with Daisy. Draw Mickey back to the start with this, maybe? Yeah, oh, he comes back and then do you flash him with the camera when he's, his eyes are open? Maybe. Oh yeah, look, he's there. The camera replenishes much quicker now as well. Okay. So when we, whenever we, what the heck? 
Whenever we see Mickey, we flash him, right? I'm I'm really confused. Because it seems to be saying, like, oh, basically, you need to uh, do what you've been doing, but with a new set of characters now. Or this mother character, you know, she's, like, basically impersonating all of the characters, and you have to basically rely on your instincts. So when I saw the eyes open, I thought, okay, camera flash. Ones without eyes would rely on sound, so you sound. That's kind of my initial instincts because that's the rest of the game's mechanics are built uh, like based around that. That's what we've been doing. Flash this one. Yeah, I think we flash for one that's like all over the camera because she's like Daisy. Wanna see my head? Oh, it's probably this that got us last time on the notepad. I forgot about that. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. I've got it, guys. I think it was just me forgetting the notepad last time. Oh, we got to go up to the attic. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's there. Ah, he's looking freaky. That's for sure. I'm hearing lots of... Oh, no, what the heck? Did he move around? Does he move around in the attic and stay there? Because I think he, like, moved around twice then. All right, so I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to try my tactic of flashing the enemies with the eyes and playing music for the ones without eyes. Because I do think that must be right. I, I think I've got that right somehow. And I also want to see if we can get them, like, lure them outside of the cabin. Because surely that would be better than them being inside. I've always assumed that this is the best camera to keep them on. But maybe it's not, you know? Maybe it's not the best camera to keep them on. Oh, maybe we should be trying to, like, lure them outside, you know? We'll give it a go and we'll see what happens. Oh god. No! How's it disabled that camera already? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. That's already destroyed that camera though. I think we could I think we're dead. Oh no, what? Great. Fantastic. All right, we did it that time. That that was crazy. You have to do it so many times to get it. I think we're also dead now, though. Because I don't know where the other characters are. We've lost two cams. Oh, no. Quickly off that one. Oh. Man, we've made it to 2am, though. That's not too bad. Even if we die now, at least we've made it to 2am. Try to draw them outside of the... Oh, God. Lost another cam. Are you kidding me? It's way too quick. You don't get time to react to that. <sighs> That's nuts. There he is. He's actually at cam one. Maybe we can keep him at cam one. That'd be okay. Draw him back to cam one. Come on. Guys, I don't know. I'm so confused. Oh, we need to flash him. Oh, I think that's someone in the attic. Let's go up the attic. Quickly. Yeah. Where is he? He's there. 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 I think we've lost this. Oh my god, we actually did it. No way. No, get off cams. I want the notepad. Oh my god, what's happening? It's 3 a.m. We made it to 3? So what's happening? Everything's flashing. What the heck? Oh my god. Um, what was that thing that came into the room? What the heck? We didn't get a chance to fight against it. It just came into the room. So... I guess that's the next phase of the night when you get to 3 a.m. 
That seems a really hard. Like, so at 3 a.m., this new kind of Mickey Mouse comes out, which I'm guessing is like the mother character, maybe? And she heads straight to the room. There must be a way to like stop her. Maybe you have to get straight on cams, find her, and either flash her or use the music to draw her away. I'm not sure, but that was like really tough, guys. Right, guys, so what I'm doing now is actually doing a commentary after I recorded the video because this night took me about, I don't know, 15 attempts or something. So obviously I wasn't doing a commentary for every single attempt because that would just be like insane. <laughs> so what I did in the end was I decided I would just play it till I won, you know, while recording. And I had my commentary track going, but I didn't actually react until, um, you know, I got to the end. And I, I'm very excited when I do get to the end, as you'll hear, when I throw back over to my actual commentary track. But in the meantime, I just thought I'd guide you through how to beat this knight. This is the, uh, basically the, I don't know, plan that I came up with, the method I came up with to do it. So what you need to do, obviously, is keep your notebook completely clean the whole time. And then you need to draw the mother character to camera 9. That's outside of a cabin. You can actually see that they're outside the window there now. So you can keep an eye on them. Whenever this uh, attic sound goes off, you need to immediately answer the attic. Because you only get a tiny amount of time to find all of these mickeys in the attic. Go straight back down. You'll notice that I'm immediately going to the notepad, rubbing that out. And then I'm finding Mickey and luring him back to camera 9. This is what we'll use at 3am when the mother character shows up as well. We're going to lure them to camera 9. If you don't keep them on camera 9 when you have to go to the attic, they'll get into the room almost every time. It's really annoying. Uh, as I found out to a lot of trial and error, but I played this and just kept dying. So you can see now I'm luring Mickey back because he got away from me there. We're trying to lure him uh, all the way back. He's kind of disappeared. I don't know where he's gone. Sometimes you do lose track of him. So we flash him when his eyes are out. When he has no eyes, we use sound to call him. We're calling him to camera 9. He's back on camera 9, so we leave him alone. You can also see him through the window now. Right there, you can see in the corner of the screen. He's uh, through the window. There you go. Back to camera uh, 8. We take him back to camera 9. And this is all you have to do really the whole night. It's just very tricky to keep track of everything at once. By far the hardest is when it gets to 3am uh, and the mother character shows up. And also keeping track of the attic. The attic minigame you only get a tiny amount of time to complete. And of course the longer you're up in the attic, the more time the mother character has to get closer to the office that you're working out of, right? So that's how you do the night, and um, I just wanted to give a little commentary track as you saw my gameplay of it. That weird Mickey head also shows up quite a lot and will break the cameras, as you probably saw in one of my previous runs, depending on how I edited this video. Oh, here we go. So this is where it gets interesting. So this is where the mother character shows up. It's now 3am. And you're going to see my technique here. So... We flash them, get them onto camera 9, and it's really good. As long as you can hold on camera 9, you're safe. The problem is, she only stays on cameras for about 4 or 5 seconds, and then she'll move. So, look, she's already gone. So it's all about luring them back to camera 9 constantly. And you don't get a lot of time to do that. We've got to go to the attic now. So things up here. I hate this attic minigame. <laughs> so hard. It's harder than it looks because you can press the return by accident as well and then you'll go back down. So you have to be very, very careful of that. But yeah, so far so good. I think I got lucky with the RNG here because I managed to keep the mother character on cameras 8 and 9. A lot of runs I had before this, she would get away into the house and then I would just like insta-fail essentially. She moves so quickly to the room. Such a freaky looking character design with those long arms as well. But yeah, guys, when you get to the end of this uh, segment here, you'll hear my actual reaction from when I was playing the game. Because I didn't record a commentary until I actually beat the night. And then suddenly I realised I'd beaten it. I was so happy. You'll hear it in my voice. This drove me up the wall. 
I was just sat there like, am I even going to get this video out today or not? Just thinking in my head the whole time, I'm never going to complete this. I'm never going to complete this. But finally, I managed to do it. And um, I actually think my gameplay is pretty good here. You know, I've got a, a tactic down. I'm uh, multitasking well. We go straight up to the attic now. It's 4.30. And this uh, night was actually pretty interesting. It was quite fun. Once you understand how it's meant to be played, it becomes quite fun and there's a lot going on to keep track of. And it's challenging, but I don't want to say fair because I think it's slightly un unbalanced, but I do think it's relatively manageable, let's say. It's not the worst that I've experienced in a FNAF fan game. Oh, that was close. Because uh, there are some FNAF fan games where, yeah, it's just broken the difficulty by the time you get to the final night. Anyway, guys, I'm going to throw back over to my actual commentary now as we're coming up to when I start talking again. So hopefully you enjoyed my little tactic for the end of this night. And hopefully it helps you play the game yourself. And I'll see you in a minute. You'll end up just like the last one. We did it guys! Oh my god, we actually did it! That's insane. That took me so long. But there we go guys, we finally done it. And wow. That is uh... Yeah. That took me a while, that took me like about half an hour. The morning sun has driven them back into darkness. So we get the same message once again. Oh, and a very flashy screen the heck and that looks like the mother enemy who is like maybe perishing now I'm not sure or did she get us did we die like I'm not sure what that ending's implying that's the end that wasn't actually much of an ending <laughs> it was very abrupt but I guess it is all about the gameplay loop in these games and you know actually this game was pretty good but there we go guys, that's the game completed now. I don't know if I want to do a night six because that was hard enough for me, but I will look at the extras now and we'll see like if there's anything interesting there. We've got a little picture in the background. It looks like Mickey playing with Pluto, doesn't it? But like a disturbing sort of version of that. There we go, Oblitus Casa, done. I actually made it to the end and now we've got custom night and extras on the menu. So let's check these out. So here we go, characters Willy. So this is one of the characters we met in the game, of course. The strange Mickey Mouse character was called Willy. Willy is the poster boy of Oblitus Casa and the main tune Jake encounters throughout the main nights. A distorted image of Mickey from Steamboat Willy. Willy is based on the main antagonist of Five Nights at Treasure Island version 3. He was the replacement for the at the time removed photo negative Mickey although he received a lukewarm reception from fans due to the circumstances surrounding his addition. But Willie would soon become iconic in his own right, with many eager to see the character given a second chance. Okay. Then we've got Belial. Belial is a newly formed tune based on Sadie, or as she was known now, Ortonesia. Practically a toddler, Jake must keep her drawing from completing itself to prevent her from forming in the office. She is based on Orantesia, a character planned for version 3 of Five Nights at Treasure Island. Ah, so that's what forms if we don't like rub out the drawings on the notepad. Okay, then we've got Daisy, yeah, that was really creepy looking. Daisy is a tune resembling the head of Daisy Duck with a set of tentacles protruding from her. And then we've got Corrupted Inkblot Face. So this is just called The Face, that's the thing in the attic was really annoying. The face returns in Oblitus Casa, visibly decayed since his last outing and with new, seemingly human parts. He is smarter and more self-aware than the other toons and is the only one active during Jake's last stand against Mother. Then we've got PN Mini. This toon is a photo-negative version of Minnie Mouse. In earlier versions of Five Nights at Treasure Island, the Minnie character in the game sported the same colour scheme as photo-negative Mickey. This changed in version 3, where there was instead a version of her with a normal colour palette, which would later evolve into the character of Impurity. The photo-negative incarnation of the character finally returns in Oblitus Casa. There we go. 
Oh, Pete. So that's the thing that was in the attic if we shone the light on it by mistake. Pete is one of Disney's oldest characters, predating even Mickey Mouse himself and often portrayed at his foil. In Phase 2 of Five Nights at Treasure Island's development, Pete was planned as a non-canon bonus character and was the last thing added to the game before it entered version 3. Then we've got Dippy. So Dippy is the weird, goofy character. Dippy is a black and white toon resembling Goofy. His name resembles Goofy's original name, Dippy Dog. Unlike the majority of the Cassard cast, Dippy was created for and is debuting in uh, Oblissus Cassa. And then we've got Mother Mick Mick, who's this crazy thing that we encounter at the end. Following Jake's encounter with her in Five Nights at Treasure Island, Mother is once again encountered after the burning of Hourglass, where she reveals the true scope and extent of her being and the island before taking a physical form, that of Mick Mick. While the Mother character is a drastically rewritten and updated version of God from previous incarnations at Five Nights at Treasure Island, Mick Mick's role in the franchise was initially much smaller. He originates from version 3 of Five Nights at Treasure Island, where he served as a temporary replacement for Photo Negative Mickey before the addition of Willy and later once again took the role in version 4. Okay. And then Hourglass, I hate that thing, that's the thing in the sewers. After the events of Five Nights at Treasure Island, Hourglass escaped the staff building and roamed the island's forests and sewers, slowly decaying. Jake encounters them once again in the Utilidors beneath the island, before finally setting them alight and ending them in Night 5. Yeah, that was a good feeling. And then the Shades. Ghosts of the past, the Shades are ghastly and nightmarish creatures representing the Five Nights at Treasure's cast. Memories of a period Jake would rather forget, the player must fend them off in post-mortem, which is the kind of weird bit between uh, deaths that we encounter, of course. I'm not going to read all of that, guys, but there's a whole bunch of information on additional characters it looks like they've added, like creepy pasta characters like Jeff the Killer and stuff. Yeah, there we go. Jeff the Killer's in the game, apparently, in a bonus mode. If you guys have read the creepy pasta he's based on, it's pretty old by now. Slenderman, what Slenderman is in this game? That is mad. So yeah, this is like additional, or these are additional characters I should say, that we get to encounter. Smile Dog, I remember that one as well. These are all like, yeah, these are all creepy pastas that, like characters that seem to be added into this game. Um, for fun. Eyeless Jack, there's another one. And then we've got some uh, hidden ones as well. Let's look at unused BTS. Oh, these are just like, um, I guess like menu screens they didn't use and stuff, assets they didn't use. I'll just kind of quickly go through these guys and you can pause the video if you want. I'm not going to read all of this, it would take so long. But you can see like there's a lot of stuff that didn't actually make its way into the game during development, which is really, really interesting. And I always like stuff like this, like making ofs on DVD movies and games. Uh, that's how they modeled the hourglass character. Jump scares. Ah, oh, here we go, guys. Look, we've got all the jump scares. That's pretty awesome. That's kind of scary. There's the goofy one. Never even saw that. And we've got a whole bunch we haven't unlocked yet. And we can rewatch cutscenes. So there we go. The final cutscene. The one where we burn hourglass. And then this one is locked. So obviously there is like a sixth night or something that gives us an additional ending. Uh, we get a custom night. No way. So we can jack up all their um, abilities like super high. That's probably what unlocks the final cutscene, right? And then we've got these locked characters. I'm guessing this is where Slenderman and like Jeff the Killer come into play and stuff, all the creepypasta ones. Um, and if we go to continue, like, I'm interested. Oh yeah, look, there's a Night 6. Okay guys, so I'm not going to do night 6 because I have been recording for a few hours. I don't know if I ever will, I'm going to be honest, because I found night 5 pretty frustrating and very, very hard. So uh, with that said guys, I have completed Oblitus Castle now. It was a great game, really good fan game, despite being a little bit too hard in places for my liking. I did think that it was mostly well balanced, very, very highly produced with amazing visuals, creepy character designs, and a lot of like uh, fun, you know, like... Some of these fan games, you can tell they've just been cobbled together quickly. You can tell the people that made this actually took their time and really like believed in the thing they were making and wanted to make it really fun and feel really good to play. And I think they mostly got that like bang on. It was it was really really fun to play. 
With that said, we might dive into Night 6 in a future video, but for now that's my playthrough of Oblitus Castle complete, and I hope you did enjoy it. And if you guys did enjoy this video, remember to leave me a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I will see you all on the next one.